Here's a training tip, guys. Watch where your other hand is when you're doing a one-handed, one-armed movement, okay? Say I'm doing a dumbbell lateral throw. So we've done these, right? You can either lift from the knee area or down around the ground. So this is in my current program. Notice the throw. Where's my other hand? It's right, it's behind me. What I often see are women doing this, and we do it all the time, even with a squat and press or a diagonal, right? Or a throw. I see their hand on their leg. What you're doing is you're stabilizing, you're making it easier. Remember, this is always about not letting the body take the easy way out. So, you can either have it by your side, or what I often do is I put it behind me. One arm cable rows, the same thing. If I'm doing a one arm cable row seated on the ground, I'll see a lot of women doing it, and they're doing a one arm, and the other uh, is on their leg. And it's a little bit of an assist. It doesn't look like much, but it is. When you're doing one arm stuff, I want you guys to have that other arm totally out of the picture, put it behind your back. Cable flies, right? When you're doing a standing cable fly, don't do this, right? Don't even do this. Put the arm behind your back, or you can have it out to the side. I just like having it tucked behind me. So just make sure the other arm is not uh, negating the effects of the training you're doing. You work way too hard to get your um, moments in, so make sure that arm is out of the picture.